Hi guys, hope you're well and welcome back to my channel. Today I am so excited to be sharing this video with you. Today's video is going to be a stocking filler video and a stocking gift guide of what could be included and what Father Christmas may potentially bring your child this Christmas. So if you want to see what I've included for my four year old son's gift guide for stocking fillers, then just keep watching. Okay, so Clayton is going to be four this year and there are some ideas here that I think are really, really good and that he will really, really love receiving on Christmas day. Now, all of these are going to be wrapped up individually and I've done a really good job. Like I wouldn't say that what I purchased here has come to more than about 10, 15 pounds and there is loads there. So I'm really, really chuffed with myself. The only thing that I will say is the majority of this has been purchased in store in places like B&M, Tesco, Home Bargains. Um, and Morrison's so I don't know whether you're gonna be able to get any of it online I will try and see if I can link the items or similar if I have purchased them or do manage to see them online however a lot of them will be kind of a case if you're going into store to pick them up but hopefully this will just help give you ideas so the first thing that I'm going to show you is I'm just going to start with the chocolate just to get that out of the way with now the boys do like chocolate but I'm not a massive advocate of just throwing chocolate them at them just because it's Christmas they'll get enough throughout the month as it is they'll get enough in their presents and all things like that and there's plenty lying around the homes of like our parents and our homes and stuff like that they have advent which they have a chocolate every day so they get a lot of chocolate so I'm just going to share with you the little items that I got so normally I always remember when I was younger I'd get a big massive selection box and I'm not doing that for the boys this year so first of all he always gets an orange or a satsuma or something like that in the bottom of his stocking that's just a tradition that I've grown up with I always remember having a satsuma in the bottom of my stocking so that's what he will have and Clayton loves oranges anyways then the next thing that I picked up for him is this now this is a really big cute kinder egg I know Clayton is going to absolutely love receiving this he loves kinder eggs this was five pounds and it was from Morrison's there's obviously a big toy in there and I think he's going to really enjoy it. I don't think he's ever seen one this big before. So I think he's going to really, really love receiving this on Christmas Day. And that's just going to go in the bottom of his stocking. Again, it's quite a hollow chocolate, so there's not too much to it. And then Christmas would have been Christmas if you didn't have some coins. So the next items to go in his bag are some gold and some silver coins. These were a pound each. And I don't know where I picked these up from. Oh, Morrison's. And one of these is white chocolate, one is milk chocolate. And they'll just be split both between the boys' bags. Again, Parker doesn't really eat much chocolate. So he might only have a few little ones of these and a couple of these. He doesn't eat much. But again, Christmas isn't Christmas if you don't have some chocolate coins in your stocking, hey? <laughs> Then just as another little treat, I picked up these as well. These are little PJ masks, no, Paw Patrol. These are little Paw Patrol chocolates. I think I just picked these up from B&M or something like that. They were only a pound. And again, I'm just gonna sprinkle them. Oh, one of them's actually open. I'm just gonna sprinkle them throughout their stocking just as another little treat, but I haven't gone mad on the chocolate. That is everything for chocolate this year. Then starting with probably the most boring of items out of a lot of them, but just the standard stocking item for me. The first thing that I have is this, and it's a Batman toothbrush kit. I absolutely love it. I picked this up from Home Bargains. It was only a couple of pounds. Clayton has become obsessed with Batman recently. So in his stocking, there are gonna be two Batman toothbrushes. There's a Batman toothpaste and a little Batman cup, tumbler cup as well. I'm not sure if I'm gonna leave them in the packet at the moment or whether I'm just gonna take them out and pop them all in and then wrap them all up individually or like I'll pop it all in together but then wrap that up just to make it a bit smaller so it fits in his stocking a bit better. Um, but yeah, really, really cheap and affordable and I know that he's gonna love receiving that. And again, I always find that toothbrushes are a standard stocking gift. And that actually just reminds me, before I go any further, this is the stocking that we have for Clayton. It has a little Father Christmas on it. And I believe Parker's has like a snowman or a reindeer or something like that, but they were made by the same company. I believe I purchased them off of Etsy. It's really cute. It has his little name on it up the top. And then obviously as you go down a little Father Christmas and they're grey and they just go really, really nicely. So I will try and leave them linked below as to where I got them from. If I can remember, I'm pretty sure it was Etsy. So I'll see if I can find the seller for you. Okay, so in keeping with the fact that my son is obsessed with Batman, the next thing that I picked up was this. It was a little Batman torch and it's £2.99 from B&M. He has received a torch every single year for Christmas and he's obsessed with just sitting in the dark and seeing torches. And these ones are really cool because... Oh no, it's opened. I'm gonna have to check the bag because it's just opened and it wasn't open last night when I checked. Um, but basically it comes with these little shape things. So you can pop them on and it actually illuminates like the Batman symbol and whatever the other one was. I think it might be Batman himself. For £2.99, I think that's a really, really good affordable price. A stocking filler idea that I know he's going to love. 
Okay, so the next item is from B&M as well. Another really random one, and it is this item here. Now this is a like dinosaur egg, and you basically hatch it yourself. So basically you pop him in water, and it takes 24 to 48 hours for him to hatch. This is gonna be, I think, more of a one-hit wonder, but he'll get a little dinosaur out of it, and I think he'll enjoy watching it hatch over the two days that it takes. So I think that's quite a cool present to buy for him, just something that'll be making him really curious. And it's only £1.99, so again, a really cheap, affordable present for his stocking. So the next thing I have, I just picked up off of Amazon. Again, super cheap, it's like £1.30 or something like that. And it is this, it is a little slinky. Now, I don't know about you, but I loved having slinkies when I was younger. I was totally obsessed with them. I did have bigger ones, but I thought this would be a good one to start him off. Look at it, isn't it pretty? Oh, I love slinkies. I love making them go up and down the stairs more than anything. And this was actually Adam's idea to get a slinky. And when he mentioned it, I thought, what a bloody good idea that is. Clayton isn't really gonna know what it is when he opens it up on Christmas day. But I think that would be a really good, cool, fun little present and a really, really cheap little stocking filler. Okay, so the next items are some really cheap, basic things. They were all about two, three pound, I think, from either B&M or Tesco. And they're just little action figure things like that. So this one is an Incredibles 2. I'll just show you. An Incredibles 2. And I believe that this one is like a little collectible thing. I'm not sure if he's squishy or he moves or he's a character. I think he might be squidgy by the sounds of him. Or her, I don't know which one it is, but Clayton is obsessed with The Incredibles. He loved watching The Incredibles 2 film, so I thought that would be a really nice stocking filler, and that was £2 from Tesco. Then Clayton hasn't ever had any mashems before, but I thought I'd pick him up this. This is a little PJ mask mashems. Again, never anything that I've had to buy before in the past. And again, I thought this would be another really cute little present just to add to his stocking. Again, £2 just to fill it out, bulk it out a little bit. I'm not even sure what a mashem looks like, to be quite honest with you, but I know kids love that sort of stuff, so I'm sure he's gonna love that. Then this year, if you saw my kids' gift guide, you'll see there's a lot of Playmobil stuff and Lego and things like that. So I picked up this, it's a little Playmobil set. It does say from five plus. Again, I'm sure I picked this up from Tesco. And I believe you just get one of the characters, you don't know who it is, but there's like pirates and firemen and miners and all sorts of crazy people and I believe there's one in there I believe there's like one person in there and he can basically just sit down it will keep him entertained for a little bit on Christmas day so I thought we'd really really enjoy that again that was a couple of pounds and I think this one was from Tesco again these might have all been from Tesco actually and then the next item is this is the DC Super Friends Imagine X range from Fisher Price and again these are from ages three plus I believe yeah, these are for ages 3 to 8, and with these you get like Batman, there's like the Joker or the Hulk. I'm really not very good. Superman, I'm no good with like all of these characters and stuff like that. But again, this is really cheap. I think you might actually get two characters inside here that you can, oh no, it says one toy. So yeah, one of them, and again, you can just build that, and again, it will keep them entertained on Christmas Day for a little bit. And the very last item that I have as a stocking filler is this. I'm so excited to be giving this to Clayton on Christmas Day or for it to be in his stocking. So basically we have gotten him and he has asked Father Christmas for a VTech camera for Christmas and also the VTech watch and I think he's going to love this because he also asked for a phone. These are like little walkie talkies. So my plan is, Parker's obsessed with our phones as well, so my plan is to take these out, wrap them up individually and give one to Clayton and one to Parker. And then basically they can both talk to each other and use them. All you've got to do is pop the button on the side. They were $4.99 and again they were from B&M. Really reasonable and like I said, super duper cheap. Um, and I just think again, another great additional extra to his stocking. Well guys, I hope you've enjoyed seeing what I'm popping inside Clayton's stocking this year. Like I said, I haven't got crazy, I haven't got mad. They're really reasonable, cheap, affordable presents that I think he's gonna love opening on Christmas day. I mean, it's not all about the money and I genuinely do believe that these are items that he'll love playing with or keep him really entertained. And they're kind of things that I've really, really thought about as to what I know that he likes and love. And I mean, sitting in a dark bathroom with a torch on is one of his favorite things to do. Um, I know that he loves chocolate like I said the walkie talkies all things like that I know he's gonna love those items if you're new to my channel I would love for you to subscribe I do lots of videos from lifestyle parenting interiors cleaning hauls travel you name it I probably cover it if you've been here for a while thank you so much for watching don't forget to like this video if you loved it and I will see you all again in another video very shortly bye guys